now by Vin Select. Liut plays it in the corner, loses control. Gillis centers and a turnaround shot is stopped by Liut's pad. Pressed against the goal post to his right. Cicerelli back to Stevens, over to Dino Cicerelli. Looks for Johansson, loose at the side of the net. Now Stevens at the point of blast, and it stops. It's loose in front, dug out of there, but the net has been moved. And I think Milnikov managed to hold the puck through all that. Now it comes loose, but expect to see quite a bit of that here in these closing days of the season. A break, in on goal, a shot, and a goal! Michael Pavanka. And the Capitals lead 1-0. Milnikov is still down on the ice. Whether he's just upset or if there's some sort of injury and the trainer comes out, I think his own teammate is the guy who collides into him. Deblois, I think, is the man who really whacks into Milnikov. And Michael Bavanka with the nifty move. And look at Rod Langway with a cut over the eye. Bavanka keeps that puck alive and puts it into the open net. And there you see the collision. Still with the blood coming down over his right eye, but he is not at the bench for any medical attention. What a terrific move to keep your balance and get that puck away. Outstanding play by Pavanka. 2%. At the point, here's a high slap shot by Petit, and it's stuck under Liut stick for a goal. With the scoring play, the Nordiques' Mike Huff is ninth of the year, and this game is tied at one. Well, nobody helps Liut out with this rebound, and here's this Quebec power play that has not been good on its own all year long, but is starting the, for the second time without Goulet, without Stashny. But it certainly doesn't seem to affect him. Mike Liut just barely misses getting it on that rebound as it's Kortnall. Kortnall back to Johansson in the corner. Johansson to Hunter, a wrist shot, and a save made by Milnikov in the next. Now it's played to the corner for McKegney. Pegney back to the point. Johansson a drive. It's knocked down in front. Portnall a backhand shot. And the Nordique precision starts back. Brings it to center. In across the blue line. Both teams at full strength. A shot dribbles through Leute. Yarby bouncing one past the Washington goaltender. And Quebec is in the lead in this game. Two to one. Boy, this Capitol team, a very flat performance right now. They're sitting back. They're going very, very deep. Nobody's standing anybody up at the blue line. And the defensive responsibilities. Now, the Caps were trying to change up a little bit, but they let Hero Yarby just come walking right down that slot as nobody comes up and covers him. Tucker tries to make that move in there. That puck literally is bouncing through towards Mike Liute. And here's Ridley to get it. Back to the point. Hatcher shot knocked down. Ridley at the side of the goal. And Cicerelli has the door shut in his face by Milnikov. Now Dino charges again to the side of the net. Backs off. Passes it to Hatcher. Hatcher over to Stevens. Again to Kevin Hatcher. A blast. That's kicked out by Milnikov in the Nordic goal. Let's continue on the power play. John Tucker. Back to Scott Stevens. A bouncing drive. A rebound shot. Oh, and Hunter was robbed at point blank range. Now the Nordiques come out again. Up. Here's Kortnall, left side Johansson, out to center ice and just a bit too far for Hunter. Hunter back to take it, works it to Tucker, center and pass, a shot and a goal! Jack Kortnall takes a beautiful pass from behind the net and the Capitals tie the game at two. Well, here's that hard work. Here's that deep pressure coming in. Now, Hunter, who is almost all in on a breakaway, comes in deep. But look at Tucker sweeping behind. And here's where the Quebec Nordiques lose a man, that being Jeff Courtnall. Lozelle tries to come back but can't get him. And Courtnall is wide open in front. What a nifty play, though, by John Tucker. Beautiful backhand pass right into that slot. Head mans it out to Mike Ridley. Ridley trading passes with Kelly Miller. Ridley across the line, over to Rouse. He fires, rebound, on goal. And Milnikov sparkles with two big saves. Now a breakaway for Sackett. He's in alone. He fires, and Liu stops it. The Washington net is knocked loose as Liu backs into it. Over to Stevens. Scott Stevens tees it up, but the shot deflected off the glass. Hunter has lost his helmet. Now here comes Kortnall cutting in. Deeks in. Fires. 
and it rides off the stick of Petit into the crowd. Caps keep the pressure on Milnikoff, but so far, well, for the evening, Quebec has outshot Washington 17-16. Dino Cicerelli holds off a high stick from LeCision. Pavanka to the corner to try and dig it out. Battle Sackett for the puck. Now centers it. Quick drive by Malte on goal. A rebound shot. Cicerelli's in the net. We have a penalty call coming up. Over to Scott Stevens. Dino Cicerelli. Back to Michael Pavanka. Centers it. Right where he wanted to be in front of the net. And fires home the quick pass into the goal. The Caps take the lead 3-2. to two. Well, Mike, this really is great work. Beneficent, beneficiaries of all this work. Bounces passed into the blue line of Quebec. Right wing pass for Jackson. Walks in and fires into the top corner of the net. He beats Leute high on the glove side. And again, the game is tied. We've seen some dandy work from Mike Liut, but this is one he should have stopped. He has not seen a lot of work in front of him in this period, and Jeff Jackson just drills one right over the glove. Now, admittedly, it's a well-placed shot. Far corner, crossbar right underneath it. I mean, it's a, a perfectly positioned shot, but I'm sure Mike Liut feels this is one that he could have hit out of the zone to center. Malte back to the blue line of Quebec. And here's Rod Langway for Washington. Now we've got a fight starting. Al May and Steve Finn drop the glove. And Alan May uncorks some right hands on Finn. Still getting the right hands loose. And now May thrown into the Washington bench by Finn. Oh, and May uncorking the roundhouse rights from inside the Washington players bench on Steve Finn, who showed a remarkable amount of strength there in lifting his opponent right over the boards <laughs> and into the bench. And I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. He left the ice surface late in the second period. And we'll see if we can't get some word on what's happening with Pavanka. The puck cleared off the boards to center ice, and here's Hunter, left wing side. Now Kortnoff cuts in, tries to center. And it's right in front of the net. Milnikoff makes the save, and now Merwa is down after running hard into the boards in behind the goal. And he appears to be stunned with an uncle that lives up in the Northwest Territory. Tucker chases the puck to center. Goes in on the right wing side. Tries to center, and he does, and it's played by Milnikoff in front of the net. It hit Malte's stick. Thrown back inside the Washington end by Gillis. Here's Sheehy to the corner. Penalty call coming up. Sheehy bumps McRae as he's down, and Sheehy's waiting. Now drops the gloves, and he's got a decided advantage. Oh, he punches at McRae twice and hammers him. Now reaches in with a third right hand. After one linesman was in, Pateman was holding on, and McCourt didn't have a good grip on Sheehy yet. Now doesn't even need to. And back to the blue line. Now to Sackett, who keeps it in. One-timer by Petit right on goal. Liu comes up with a big save. Now we've got penalty calls coming, and Scott Stevens. A fight breaks out right in front of the penalty box now. It's Dale Hunter jammed up in there and throwing punches on Quebec's Juan Loisel. And the linesmen pull them apart. Well, this will be interesting, period. Dino Cicerelli. Walks in. He fires and a skate save made by Milnikov. Now at the side of the net, it's centered. Cicerelli is shot and a goal. Dino Cicerelli puts it low right past the skates of Sergei Milnikov. And the Capitals move into a lead of four to three. And the last time the Nordiques were here, this man got four goals. Kelly Johansson does a great job, though, of keeping that puck alive. Traffic in front, driven right past Milnikov. On the play, the puck goes to the corner. Mike Ridley, left point. Scott Stevens fires, and Milnikov makes the save. 
Milnikov with a lot of help by his defenseman. They cleared the path for him and couldn't get to it. We're in the final minute of play. Here's Milnikov heading to the bench. The Nordiques throw out a sixth attacker. Stevens tries to cover up in front. Medical attention to him to keep an eye on it. Ridley on a very alert play once the Capitals won the draw. Scott Stevens whipped it around the boards. That's where Ridley peeled off from that faceoff and helped chip it out. But you'll see the collision there with Petit. Really almost looks like Petit hits more of the captains to go. Quebec with pressure, a centering pass, stolen by Langway. Out of the zone for Leach. The Quebec net is empty, and Miller's backhand shot is stopped right at the blue line. Here's a shot by Leach, and a goal! Time has run out. I don't think the goal will be allowed. The Capitals have beaten the Quebec Nordiques, though. The final score, 4-3. to three. Quebec led in the first period 2-1. to one. They were tied after two periods. And Quebec with a very brief moment of scaring the Capitals here in the third with some pressure. But Washington holds on thanks to a goal by Dino Cicerelli. And they win 4-3 over the Nordiques and now have 65 points in the Patrick division. And Washington leapfrogs tonight back into a playoff spot. Shots on goal in the third for Quebec.